Hello everybody, welcome back. We just killed a bear and uh, we, I can't even see. Is it this way? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we just spent the night in this cave. Uh, we're in Broken Railroad. Excuse me, and then we just, we just had to, um, We've just been going around harvesting different things, looting and harvesting carcasses, and we wanted to get one more bear so that we could uh, get that hide harvesting before we had to uh, before we had to the far territory here. So, and we are gonna have some more uh, arrows to make here, so. This is just not looking like very good weather. I mean, the blizzard has stopped, but <clears throat> I don't know if we can make a fire next to this bear up here or not. The good news is he uh, died right next to the rope over here, so we'll probably, I mean, we're just going to leave like all his meat here and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I can even uh, build a fire right here. Too windy. We may have to go kill some more time. Oh, we can do one right there. Huh? Well, I mean, we might as well give it a shot, right? Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. <coughs> The uh, carcass is blocking the wind a little bit. Turned out pretty well. All right, I'll put one piece of coal. Um, we have a we have a fan over here. I'd rather not waste an arrow on him though. be honest with you. Uh, so I don't... Let's see. Fifteen minutes. I just want to see how this... Um, hopefully the, the weather calms down. I mean, because we just finished a blizzard. So... Yeah. Not bad, huh? All right. Oh, we have some uh, venison meat here. That was attracting. We have some other meat here too. <laughs> All right, so it's the cooked ones. We'll just kind of separate those a little bit. And we'll eat that. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. That's okay though. I'm liking how the how the weather's behaving here. Um, so let's get a couple more patties. And then the Midwest. So I'm trying some Wisconsin cheddar. It is really, really good. That one has six minutes left. All right. Oh, we have an Aurora. So, that dude over there has been replaced with his Aurora counterpart. We aren't going to waste an arrow on him, though. Nah, he can hang out there. We do need more water anyway, so. But the good news is with the Aurora, we don't have to deal with uh, any crazy weather, right? So I want to harvest this whole guy, and uh, I'm going to bring his hide and his guts 
over to the um, what is it the the maintenance shed over that way I think by the time we're done um, uh oh did we get some wind yeah look at that that's not cool not cool it's not supposed to be windy during an aurora okay this is just not cool at all <laughs> yeah uh, I think this is just gonna be done basically so I think here let me get these patties here put them there that one cooked that one's cooked that's our weight all right we're gonna climb up this rope basically because we're in an aurora guess we can grab all Our weight. We are going to come down here once this Aurora is done. And I'm probably just going to quarter this guy. Oh, we'll see. It's not the longest rope in the long dark, but it's a fairly long one. I suppose. Goodness is we're getting tired so we can sleep more. Really surprised that it got windy. Typically, when there's an aurora, it's pretty calm. Pretty calm weather. Alright, so we do need some more water. I'm gonna leave this the rest of this meat outside. Right. <clears throat> and there was no toilet to raid. <clears throat> so Oh well I may not need right. there's a bed right here. Uh, what a waste. Still an Aurora? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Any clothing items to repair? No. Yeah, so that was my plan. The wind should die down, should have died down now. I'm gonna go see if I can climb back down there. I have some other wood. I'll not climb, I'll just billy go down. No sprain, no sprain. The weather is your nemesis in this game. Your arc nemesis. Probably should have a bow out with an aurora. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, look how windy it is here. Absolutely terrible. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're very, very thirsty. Uh, was there wood in here? I think there may have been some wood in here. What was that? Oh, that's probably the cave. There might not have been any wood in here, actually. Yeah, I've just got to make some more here. I don't want to harvest out there with that, um, Come on. Surrounded by snow. With that wind. To drink. Process that, uh, bear, that wind. So, let's just make some water while we wait. Just make four liters. Transfer the fire. I think the wind finally died down. Put the last piece of coal on here. Come on. This might be the last fire we have to make actually before we leave. We should be able to find some coal on the way if it's memory done. serves. Oh, are we gonna get some more wind again? I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna see if the if it's gonna hold. How do you like that? I'm glad I didn't use that piece of coal. All right, let's do this. Two hours, we're gonna take some damage. Oh, yeah, after all that, now it's uh, behaving again. Cannot be trusted. Cannot be trusted. Alright. We do have to process all these, so might as well try it again. Actually, let's just do this. Oh. He's making a fire, everybody. Let's turn the wind up. It worked. 
you know what? Uh, we just don't have that much. Let's see. Let's just do this. Too much stuff to carry. One, two. All right, so two bags. I'll just bring over to this uh, cave. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. We could have uh, we could have had the whole bearer process by now, actually. But oh well. Oh, and I forgot. I can use the Trava. So I forgot about the Trava. Used to not having it. Oops. And that's what we'll do. <coughs> deploy the Trova. Go out here. Uh, I can't carry this with me. Alright. Like this. We'll get some cooking. going <coughs> against the wind again. That's a really windy the past couple days. Okay. Right. Let it drop off. We need to be able to add it to the radial, like seriously. Where is it? And the double click should deploy it. I need some Another thing. Something. Double click. a little bit better, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, there's a bunch of sticks over that way. We'll see if this thing, we can bring it inside. We might be able to, it might be a little too steep for it. Oh, very good. Let's 
that. Hide. How are these guys doing? 20 minutes. Let's get out here. Get some sticks. Ready? Let's see what we got. I wonder if I can drop oh. any of this gear. No, I can't put that up there. Six. Getting kind of thirsty. So about forty two minutes. How long is this thing going to take? That'll be good. Should be enough wood to finish this. Open. Okay. Might have to drop some gear. Three six forty six. Are these all cooked? Yeah. Okay.
And how many more we got? Two more bags. Alright, once we get done processing this bear, we're going to start wrapping things up here. And head to the... Uh, for our territory. 20 more minutes. I think it's getting real foggy outside. Blizzard. How do we move this? be it. Alright. Well, we'll finish cooking this. How are we doing on water? And how is our tea? Supply. We need more teas. Okay. Definitely should drop one more of these on here. not ready. And the clock starts over. <laughs> yeah, they gotta fix that too. Two one minutes. Yeah, I mean, now there's a blizzard out there, we're not gonna be able to spend 50 minutes, 58 minutes out there. I mean, I might be able to, but... All right. Well, I don't have to cook all this. You know, I mean... We can move the party. We'll sleep in here and... Uh, I'm just gonna head back into the, the lodge.
All right, let's bring like four with me. Just leave the rest in there. And just we're gonna head up into uh, the hunting lodge, see if there's anything we're gonna bring down with us to the um, uh, to the maintenance shed before we head out. Then, and then we might take off. Oh, we got a couple pieces here, too. Let me just drop these. Got some meat up here. All right. Is there anything I'm going to bring down the maintenance shed with us? Um, those guts need to get cured. I can bring a couple of rabbits down there. back up here anyway when we come back. We don't need to bring any of that stuff with us. Got a couple rabbit pellets, that's it. Alright, let's go. Well, let's, we're going to do some repairing. So let's bring a couple... Just gotta do some repairing, so. Alright, come on. Oh, come on, you can do it. There you go. Alright. Alright. Alright, here we go. Bear's dead. Rat of sticks. Gotta pick up more sticks. I think I still have one piece of coal with me. We gotta. Um, we should make some more teas for the journey. We'll make some more teas. We'll get those warmed up. gonna take turns or something or what? I don't know which one was fleeing at first. I was like, which one? <laughs> which one's fleeing? Yeah, so there's a workbench in there, so we should. Um, we'll make some more arrows too. So we got arrows to make, we have teas to make, and we have clothing to repair. And we have cattails to harvest. Cold is making my head feel thick. There will be more cattails in the far territory too. How many we got? Fifteen. Let's go for just a little bit more. It's really cold this morning. So cold. Two more. For a bit. 
Oh. And there we go. Alright. Give me some rolls up here, and we do have some meat with us, so I'm just gotta watch out. So just to say, come in. Okay. Now, all of our stuff right here we needed. Okay. Now let's do some quick repairing. Let's see. All right. Sewing level three. Here we go. <laughs> cured deer hide yet, so those will have to wait. Those will have to wait. Alright. Next are arrows. didn't bring with me were feathers. Did not think about that. Five arrows. Alright, that's good. How's our bow doing? 44, it's not too bad. Heat. Now I gotta make teas and we should we could probably just make teas in the morning. Get this wood together. Drop it right by here. Any other loose wood around here? Let's see. Anything in that bucket? No. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not seeing. I got some more coal here. Take that for the road. Most definitely. any other wood. Uh, what to do, what to do. Okay, well, let's make the teas. We repaired what we could. Let's see, we have 29 degrees. Yeah, not too bad. that. I need to pick up some more sticks. And then we'll make some more teas, warm up these ones, and we'll probably just take off here. And we'll sleep in the tunnel. It's not that far until the, until the, the tunnel, but I mean, it's a little far. There's a transition region in between it. us and the place I'm thinking of. That's enough. Might bring the reclaimed right. wood with us. We'll see. Reishi. Reishi. Let's get the reishis out. Okay, so we have to make, after this, we have to make four more.
another one, another reclaimed wood. Those are hot. Now one for the road. Look at the water. Yeah. Alright. And now oh, that's fine. Check our weight. Just getting tired, that's why. It's not too bad. Alright, let's hit the road. I think, yeah, I mean, I separated the piles of everything anyway. So. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Let's just. Fill our lantern. Alright, that's good. off. <laughs> we have a blizzard now. Okay, I was just checking the time. Okay, so there's a blizzard, so we're not off. Because I don't think... Oh, well, we'll just go. We'll be fine. There is a tunnel, so it'll be fun. And we should be warm in the tunnel because of our clothing. Some calories with this. Yeah, we got over a thousand uh, and cattails. So and there's a blizzard. Over here, this bridge used to be uh, for the uh, DLC. This one was no, not passable. Got a couple more pieces of wood. I'll check that. I'll check this vehicle on the way back.
getting pretty fast at that, I think. When I first started messing with the flask, I was like, no, oh, too many buttons. darker and I don't think I need to pick up any more coal and I got this many sticks and okay so I have two fire starters with me I didn't necessarily want to bring both of those but that is what it is Okay, let's see. Wonder how far we'll make it here. Got always sleep in here, so big of a deal. Because we have we have good gear, so. Can repair a bedroll as well. There's usually some loot over here. In this open. One of these things is open. I think it's, you know, it's this one. One guy, one corpse. Okay. And then after this train, it kind of, or this uh, tunnel, it kind of opens up. There's a lot of pry bars this way. And I'm going to drop some loot. I'll probably drop the extra fire striker and pry bar inside uh, the in interior tunnel, which I don't think we're going to... Oh, here we go. Yeah, here's the interior tunnel. Alright, so this is where we can sleep. And we'll sleep inside. There's a room off to the right up here. Right here, yeah. Oh, should be a uh, hundred percent torch. Nice. Okay, anything in here? Scrap metal, reclaimed wood. Can be broken down. Yeah, we'll just uh, put the bedroll down here. In fact, uh, we have some daylight left. We'll see how long it takes to repair the bedroll after we get done looting. takes to repair this bedroll. Bedroll, bedroll, repair. 45 minutes, we have time. There's enough daylight. All right, 100% bedroll, there we go. And we'll sleep through the night. And we should finish the rest of that meat in the morning. And yeah. To make some more water soon. We have an Aurora. Okay, it's still night out. Finish our set meat. And that'll fill us. There you go. Now we're not going to get too cold because there's a cave not too far from the entrance. Start down the way. Oh, I wanted to drop off the fire striker. The lower quality one. Let's go ahead and drop that one off. This guy and the extra pry bar we do not need. Let's see if there's anything else. We have plenty of torches. Nothing else really. 
No, I'm going to bring those things with me. I'm glad I have uh, some extra rabbit pelts, but we are going to need... These guts are actually for the extra um, uh, bow. These here, we'll see it. We'll see that these two here later. All right, let's get going. Now we're not over encumbered, so that's great. Now this way heads uh, to the other door, which we're not going to go that way because um, we'd have to uh, like Billy go down, either Billy go down or uh, excuse me, or hop the rope down. Now uh, most of the time there's a wolf down here. that bridge up there so that's where the tunnel comes out up there and we have a deer but I don't need the deer at this time actually I haven't hunted any deer yet since I've been uh, level 5 and here over here is the cave And get some more mushrooms. Any more? No. Okay, I'm not gonna pick up. I don't think I'll pick up any more coal at this time. Well, yeah, I think I'll be fine. This cave pops out. Uh, we'll be going up in the cave. And it comes out on the other side of where the bridge is that we just went under. So, yeah, let's pick up like, a couple more pieces of coal. Which way are we going? What is. Oh, I got a backpack here. Yeah, I don't know this these areas that well since I, I when I just started playing the game again I got the DLC and I only completed the stuff once I do know where some things are um, nothing in there in the uh, our territory um, I know the shortcut back I had to figure that one out so there's a long way. Okay, come on. Can you do it? <laughs> There's a long way. Uh, once you get into Forsaken Airfield, you have to go a long way around. And some people have been able to kind of hack it and just kind of run and get on a ledge and take the shortcut back. But, not going to be able to do that. Uh, I tried it once, and I got two sprained ankles, and I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> so going out to the Forsaken Airfield is a long route, but coming back is uh, quite a bit shorter. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing coming back. You can bypass, like, a whole bunch. And Forsaken Airfield is a pretty large region. I wonder if it's the same size as... Uh, Pleasant Valley, actually, but just, you know, like kind of like one big, just wide open area. But in typical long dark fashion, they hide as much as they can uh, key structures and stuff like that. So like from a particular structure, it's very difficult to see like your direction to the airfield if you're kind of... Like, for example, if there's a downed helicopter, and you can't really... It's very difficult to, to see your way through there. So, what time is it? Okay, well, 
still not quite dawn yet. And we don't stink, so we should be fine. There is one wolf that'll be up here. Let's see, we got a bridge. And then after this bridge, there's some railway cars, and there's another cave. So the one, and so there's one wolf, kind of, the wolf hangs out sort of on the other side of these rail cars. And we're going to head towards this rail car because there's, I think there's one container to look in. I don't think we can get into the rail car. We might be able to. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Where's that wolf at? Not seeing him. Yeah, we can we can step in here. Okay, but there's no like fire barrel or anything. Okay, I think there's a cave up there. I'm not sure. Nah, it's okay. We don't need it. Yeah, there's no wolf here. Okay. Now we are going to get to transfer pass before we get to the Forsaken Airfield. And that has a building in it. It has a, a couple of structures in it. And there's extra coal there as well, now that I'm remembering. Because, yeah, looks like a kind of a, a place maybe they would have loaded coal like on the trains and stuff like that, and offloaded, and so it kind of looks like that a little bit. You know what, I'm going to drop these stones I've been carrying with me forever. Let's keep one with me. That was like an extra point six, right? So I'm just going to keep one stone with me. to carry four stones with me right now. Great top great hoppers rock fall. Huh. Okay. How are we doing on time? We're at 59 minutes. Not bad. Okay, we'll probably need the lantern for this, yeah. So glad we got this lantern. Huh. So glad we went, got picked this up. All right. It's a little cold, not that cold inside here. Yeah. It's not terrible. Now there's at least one bear in the Forsaken Airfield, and I think I know whereabouts he'll be. Yeah, so after this, <coughs> after this tunnel, we'll be in Transfer Pass. So. Quite a ways. The far territory. Okay. Over here. I hope I chose the right side. <laughs> I think they alternate sides. It might be another card up and then we gotta go the other side maybe. Yeah, when you're coming out here and you don't have very good gear at all, you're just like freezing throughout the whole tunnel anyway. So it's kind of annoying. Can't feel my feet. Okay, and we'll warm up the tees. We'll take a break inside the transfer pass building, the station. And there's 
plenty of cattails up here. I don't... I don't remember if there's wolves inside Transfer Pass. I'm trying to remember. There might be, but I just, I just can't remember. I don't remember engaging wolves very much here. Die if I don't warm up soon. Now we're freezing a little bit, but it's fine. We'll be, we're just about to the uh, train station. Plenty of oak trees. Okay, yes, there might be some wolves in here. Now that I'm getting kind of like to this area. Yeah, I think there's wolves in here. <coughs> Not that many, though. Getting caught on the tracks. Okay, so cattails over there. And then there's uh, <coughs> cattails on the other side up here. Yeah, we don't need any cattails right now. Alright, let me see. Run. Yeah, there can be wolves. So this ice, I don't think this ice will break. So there's a pond over there. And then there's more cattails and more water over that way. The loitering marsh. I don't think... Yeah, so there can be like, I think a few wolves in this whole transition region. I'm hearing what sounds like an aurora, but... I just hear some, I just hear some crackling. Okay. There can be stuff in here, some reclaim wood. We can drop the extra coal off inside the building. Now we'll get a better look at this place uh, the next day. So that's the building right there. I'm just going to swing around this way. We're going to come up here. There's a, what's this, a water tower? And there can be stuff around here. there be stuff around here. A few vehicles. Okay, so, and then right across there, you see that big conveyor and stuff? We can go inside there. This wood. Something behind. Now these things, the doors open like that, and then you can just get in there. This new DLC here. So right here, now it's time to drop the wood here. And then I'll just drop all the coal. And then all here, all this stuff here. So, Okay, so we have a bunch of fuel there. I'm just going to loot this. Have we here? These suitcases in here. Get in the morning. Nothing in here, huh? Okay, there's a bathroom, so there's some water, some cloth. Alright. Yeah, we needed some water. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it for loot in here. Okay, well, let's take a nap. And there's plenty of cattails to eat. And I don't remember if there's any, like, game inside this region. I'm not quite sure. But we'll certainly check it out. Let's go and look. Okay, 
make some more wood in here. More wood there. And those uh, doors shut by themselves. <laughs> so you don't have to shut the door. Search the vehicles by the depot there, the train depot. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Come up in here, crouch. Okay, so this door can open. This is the way out, actually. And then once you're in here, you can stand up. So you don't have to crawl the whole way. Then there can be, I think, some stuff in here, but is there anything in here? I don't, know. I don't see anything. Huh. Then here, uh, come over this way. Nothing here, huh? Wow. Uh, any game? Alright, well, then you gotta crouch again, and then you can stand up again, and get down here. Let's get our bow back out. Over here, maybe some more coal, bring that into the depot. So, yeah. now I'm just looking to see. Is there any game around here? Not really. I mean, I don't see any. Unless you count Cattail's game. <laughs> oh, I see some birds. Can't feel my hands. I can't pull the arrow. I can't do anything with it. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, we got that. Get another bird. Oh, not doing too bad. I'll speak too soon. Stop moving. Come on, I'm archery level 5, dude. Come on. Ah. Stop walking. No, oh, he's gone. Alright. Got three birds. I need to drop something. <laughs> We're really heavy. Look at this. Why are we walking so slow? Oh, we're walking in the wind? Nothing else, huh? Cattails. Okay. Already. 
There's our little fireplace here. Two cattails. We'll cook this meat up. sure I can carry much more. And we need some more water. Thirty six minutes. We got some more coal. It's just I just wanna have all the front of me here so okay 59 we'll just make four liters of water so we'll need it yeah in the morning we'll have to warm up our teas some more. The rest of the turnigan meat. There we go. We had a brief aurora. All right, everyone, we're at top condition and we're ready to head to the Forsaken Airfield. Next episode, we'll go out there and explore that. Take care.